You've no doubt seen a lot in the news about acetaminophen or Tylenol and the risk of autism. As both a pediatrician and a neonatologist, I would like to try and put this to rest. There have been many studies done over many years showing a very weak association between the use of Tylenol in pregnancy and later diagnoses of autism. One of the most important things we learn in medical school when, we're, when we are examining research is that association does not prove causation. For example, most people that take Tylenol will have a glass of water or some other beverage to wash it down. Using the same logic, swallowing water or that beverage could be associated with autism because every time you took Tylenol, you took a beverage. What is possible is that there's something else operating behind the scenes, but what could that be? What it could be, for example, is that those women who are experiencing pain from a number of conditions in pregnancy may have an increased risk of autism related to those conditions, but not the treatment of those conditions. If you are in pain and need to take something, Tylenol is the safest option. Claims otherwise are completely irresponsible.